that down. Let's move on to this, shall we? Speaking of bad first trailers, Dwayne Johnson and Chris Evans's Red One, which I can't remember how many years ago it was that we first covered the first set photos came out from that. This, this, this movie went into production a while ago. It's, mm-hmm. it's been years, but they dropped the first trailer. I, now, you guys know I love Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and obviously I love Chris Evans. And J.K. Simmons is in it. I mean, come on. A Santa Claus? A ripped buff Santa Claus? Are you kidding me? Right? So, uh, looking forward to it. I didn't like Dwayne Johnson's other Netflix movie with red in the title, Red Notice. Mm-hmm. That, w- that was, whoo. I love him and Ryan Reynolds, but mm, no. Sorry, Ryan. I'll take Green. I'll take your Green Lantern over this. Hey, that was bad. It was. This bad. one's on Amazon, right? I, I believe this is. Is this one on Amazon? Am- it is an am- it- Yeah, it is. Uh, Amazon. I've Amazon. been under the impression. I'm glad you corrected me on that. I've been under the impression it was a Netflix movie. Okay, it's an Amazon film. Yeah. There you go. They're taking their chance on a, a red one. Still look terrible. Yeah. That first trailer was awful. I I hate the use of the word cringe. Like I cringe when I hear people use the word cringe. Chris Cringel. Chris Cringel. But I literally watching the first trailer, I physically cringed. Mm. Like it looked terrible. So they put out a brand new trailer for it. Uh, Joe Blow saying, Red One, Dwayne Johnson and Chris Evans, save Christmas. And there you go, Ray. Amazon slash MGM's (laughs) big budget actioneer. All right. What did I think about this second trailer? You know what? Much like the Gladiator situation where I really didn't love the first Gladiator trailer, but I actually legitimately like the second one. This second trailer for Red One is legitimately a better trailer than the first one. I'm not ready to say it's a really good trailer like I was for Gladiator 2's second trailer, but it's definitely better. It didn't have any cringe to it this time. The Even the snowmen part, worked better for me than it did in the last one. Because the other one was just a bunch of cheesy, like, one-liners and, like, supposed to be, like, funny jokes. And not funny one-liners. Yeah. But, like, there's a scene in in this trailer where they've got Chris Evans in the North Pole and in comes Dwayne Johnson. And Chris Evans goes in that, I can tell I'm not going to like you. Yeah. I mean, out of all the people here, I think I'm going to like, that line worked for me. Right. That felt kind of charming it felt like it was building a dynamic between the characters whereas all the one-liners and everything like in the first trailer just made me go ugh. Mm-hmm. but in this one it was pretty cool i actually kind of liked him when he's pressing the snowman's face in the barbecue and his face just kind of changes position in his head to the other side i'm like all right this i and the one thing i did think was kind of okay from the last trailer was the krampus mm-hmm. i love that they're bringing the the mythology of the Krampus into this because that could be kind of good. We got a little bit of a peek again. You just had um, yeah, uh, uh, the jack o' lantern, the jack o' lantern's head, but that's obviously the head of the headless horseman. This is it, yeah, right here. They got the horse right here. Yeah, they got the horses there. So I don't know if this is somebody going after all the mythological. That's figures. what I'm wondering. Is it is this like Jack Skellington needs to step in here? Is this going to be like Halloween is taking over Christmas, or is some, are they going after all the mythological things of all the holidays? Yeah, that's that's the sense I got. Yeah, I got that was my sense from it. But then again, it could be maybe some of the other mythological creatures are ganging up on. You know, they're tired of Santa Claus getting all the attention. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I did I did like that they showed another bit of the like the thing that makes things larger and real when they yes. did the rock'em sock'em uh robots at the end there. Yeah. Because the whole thing when he did it with the can you do it to the Wonder Woman yeah, toys? Yeah, they like, cut no. that and they showed the rock'em sock'em, which was really yeah, good. Yeah, and the car and they went back to the car mm-hmm. and then the, and the rocks lines, I'll lamely answer all your questions. Doesn't work on everything. No, you can't touch it and something, something. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. good. I mean, we we saw a little bit of Lucy Liu in there. Yeah. Yes, and I um, love Lucy Liu. I've you know, always loved Lucy Liu. You know what? Christmas movies, to me, have always been corny, really corny. This, I think this movie is targeting to be that one Christmas movie where you could have a bigger group. I guess. And you could put it on, and everyone just either talks about how bad it is or just has a good time. It's really tar- uh, positioning it itself to be either the guy's Christmas movie that they was, or just like the whole family, more more whole family. With man, I kids. wish I had your optimism. That actually leads. <laughs> I do not have your optimism. I really like this trailer. I'm gonna watch it just because of the two. I'm still not sold, leads. but that leads me to what I was thinking. Who is this movie for? Because Christmas movie, but kids aren't gonna see it. Mm. And then it's like it's. I mean, they're gonna see it, but they're not like dying to see this kind of a movie. And then it's just like I don't know. Certain demographics are gonna be like. It doesn't look like it goes hard enough for an action film that's that's trying to be funny or whatever. It's not like it's a 
You know what I mean? Like a buddy cop thing. Like it, it just like it almost just doesn't do enough for any target audience where it's just a, just OK for all audiences. Well, at least this year, this comes out this year, right? I yeah. think so. Yes. Yeah. At least this year after the football games, if it's out before then. You, I could see this movie playing in the background while everyone's having Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, sure. Or whatever, whatever, that doesn't, that doesn't whenever it releases. Again, I don't know that I share your optimism. Really? I, 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 think, I think what Ray's saying is he's going to be playing it. When yeah, he comes Ring out. will be playing this in the background. while he's. I, I'm, I'm still not convinced. And listen, while I agree that I think this is a significantly better trailer than the first one they put out, unlike that, like where the, the second the new Gladiator trailer has made me go, okay, you know what? Now I'm interested in this movie. This is a better trailer. Yes. I still don't know that I'm interested in this. Uh, even watching during Christmas? Especially watching during Christmas. Yeah, because wow. it's just like I said, it just it like it almost gets there, but doesn't hit any mark for like any kind of like, I don't know. Again, listen. Bah humbug. Both of you. <laughs> bah humbug. Both of you have no heart. <laughs> I love Dwayne. I adore Chris Evans. Who doesn't love J.K. So I'm cheering for the movie. I'm cheering for it. I'm just saying they haven't sold me on it yet. But but this trailer is a step in the right direction. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Guys, it's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. There are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic. We already mentioned the self cooling properties for better quality sleep, but they're also self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code Campia checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Campia and use the code Campia to claim your free three piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Campia to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode guys the question is for you what did you think about this new trailer for red one the jk simmons santa claus movie where he gets kidnapped and only dwayne johnson and chris evans can save the day only black adam and captain america can go and save the day whatever you guys think jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.